Meeting in March 2015 in Sao Paulo, experts in vegetation mapping and remote sensing decided to make a complete map of land use and land cover evolution along the last few decades. Using the traditional methods, the generation of land cover maps based on satellite imagery is very slow, expensive and dependent on the availability of local equipment and software. The challenge placed on the project was to generate a fast and inexpensive method without any loss of quality. The solution required the use of automatic classifiers and cloud computing. The Brazilian experts signed a technical partnership with Google and started using the Google Earth Engine a technology with huge capability to process images. This open tool can be run by multiple researchers at the same time and from different places with the same processing power. To cover the Brazilian territory, which encompasses more than 8.5 million square kilometers, 380 images of the Landsat satellite are required. Each of them corresponds to an area of 185 by 185 kilometers. Throughout the year, dozens of images are taken for each site being analyzed. They're made up of millions of pixels, each one representing on average an area of 30 by 30 meters. To get the best resolution without distortion or cloud cover, MapBiomas programmers apply Google Earth Engine tools to clean up and select the best pixels for the desired period. Then, the selected pixels are organized into a mosaic which represents the ground cover of that region in that period. Each pixel carries almost 30 different attributes, which can be used later in the classification of the land use and land cover. The tasks run in cloud computing. They are broken up into thousands of pieces and processed on servers distributed across the network. This is only the first step. Another major challenge is to classify the images according to the type of coverage or use. Two different methods are used. In order to identify if an image represents native vegetation, water or urban infrastructure, each pixel goes through a decision tree with parameters established by the map biomas analysts for the different regions of the country. In the second method, processing algorithms are trained to identify patterns from a set of samples and determine the probability of a given pixel belonging to the farming, pasture or planted forest classes. The last production stage involves integrating the mapped classes by applying prevalence rules to generate a single integrated land cover and land use map for the entire country. All the maps produced, as well as the description of the methodology, the processing codes and the applications created to develop the project, are open and freely available in the MapBiomas webpage. Please access it and check it out.